was wondering about the Jim Ryan's 800 record. Was that actual? That was oh, I think it was 880. I'm 880, sure. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure they adjusted that. Yeah, that was 1965, certainly. But there'll be some names on here. In fact, uh, Crystal Mosley from Wichita Southeast is a current name, and she's 24.34. We're going to see her. She's from Wichita Southeast. We'll see her this afternoon. Here we off uh, running Class 1A. Rachel Miller, Paige Baird, Schmezel Wright, Ibera, Snyder, Meyer, and Kennedy. And it looks like in lane six, Ashton Snyder from Coldwater, South Central, getting a challenge from lane three, Corey Schmezel. And it's going to be Ashton Snyder, Coldwater, South Central, and either Paige Bear from State, and that's located just to the south end, south end here. And then the straight east on the old golf course is the new Innovation Campus, which is incredible now of all the new buildings going on over there. Even a Starbucks on campus now. Second heat, Class 1A. Bartlett, Weber, Sammons, Kramer, Oldie, Tori Poe, Camelia Bradshaw, and K.C. Miller as they head toward the curve at the 200. Centralia's Morgan Kramer, Emily Sammons from South Gray are giving chase. But in lane two, Kaylee Weber from Victoria. Weber from Victoria trying to hold off a challenge from Morgan Kramer of Centralia. And the winner is going to be lane two, Kaylee Weber. Weber in a nice race at lane two. 28-14 was a preliminary in the second heat, I believe. And uh, in between first and the 16th, just a couple of seconds. So this ought to be pretty bunched up here in Class 2A. Lane 8 gets off to a great start. That's Maddie Snow from Canton Galva, but you know, closing the stagger very quickly in lane 4. Jamie O'Quinn out of Mound Ridge. O'Quinn with the lead. 100 meters to go. O'Quinn trying to hold off a challenge from Riley Gleason from Kinsley. It's O'Quinn. Riley Gleason might catch her. Gleason might get her at the, oh, it's going to be a win. Mount Ridge, Jamie O'Quinn, or Jama O'Quinn, depending on the pronunciation. She's first. Look like unofficially Riley Gleason was second. So O'Quinn and Gleason are in the final just because of the conditions of the track and how they're peaking for their best performance here. Maranatha, by the way, pretty well represented in the state track and field meet. This is again Brooke Brownlee in lane four. Keep an eye on Brownlee from Maranatha. Also lane five, Leighton Greason from Sublette and Smith Center's Bree Freiling. She could give her a Boy, challenge. Brownlee is coming around strong. There's Brownlee. Pulling away here. 80 meters to go. Now 70. Look at the stride. Big, nice, smooth moves. Out to the outside, uh, it's Leighton Greason. But Brooke Brownlee can't say enough good things about her. Although Leighton Greason did close the gap a little bit, but the uh, winning first place. Fashion identifying fashion. <laughs> This, if you have a search and rescue helicopter, they'll find you if you're wearing those kind of socks. <laughs> yes. It's, uh, it's very Kansas, somewhere over the rainbow right there, man. <laughs> is that what that is? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that, that could be it. I'm, I, I'd be, if I was a reporter on the track like Chet, I would go over just to ask her what the story is behind the socks. Yeah, mom and dad might be up with there. They make sure they can find her out there. And uh, that's, a, that's a good way to do it. Good start. Slayton Brown from Norton Community jumps out to a lead. She's in lane six with a stagger close with Allie Kramer in lane four. Paige McDaniel of the Wellsville is in lane five. And with 80 meters to go, lane six reasserts themselves. With Slayton lane Brown of Norton Community. Norton She's Braun. in the lead. It is Braun from yeah. Norton Community. And she's going to win. And lane five and lane four, Paige McDaniel and Allie Kramer were shoulder. And here we go with what is 3A to the second heat, 200 meter dash. Girls, uh, it's goalie, Kelly, Rottenhouse, Ware, Coleman, Heidel, it's uh, Pets and Hudson. Lane four is Shea Ware out of Sedgwick. She's already advanced to state in one event. And on the outside, lane seven, this is Nicole Pets from Garden Plain, and she is going to win the second heat. That is a good push by. Nicole Petz is because, again, Shea Ware, favorite, just didn't have enough down the stretch and uh, relaxed, take care of things in the 200. Everybody away cleanly, and like you said, that is Kendall Frederick trying to make up the stagger. And she is out in front, but this is a pretty tight race. Pauline Sauter right next to her, but it looks like uh, 
Frederick's going to hold on to win this. After the first so it'll be fun to see. Just like the first three classes, like we talked about, the last three are going to be just as good. Mm. As we get ready for this second heat, uh, Class 4A. This is Nitty Little, Gracie Carr of Independence. Jordan Hallman of Jefferson West. Sophie Jones of Paola, 25-70 so far this year. Darian Hilbert of Hayden. Uh, Rachel Stefan of Girard. Collegiate uh, Paris Vincent. And Kinsey Gehring of McPherson. And in the uh, seventh lane and also in the fifth lane, that is... Hilbert. Hilbert, look at that arm. Uh, that is a thing of beauty. And in lane one, here comes Little. Not sure who, uh, I think who Little might have taken that one from Chapman. Of, the 200. That would be interesting to see these uh, Newton uh, teammates going after it. But again, Erica Lister in lane four of the fastest uh, seat time, 25.56. Uh, but right next to her, Savannah Simmons, who ran the anchor for Newton in the record breaking. Four by 100 performance from the Newton girls. Listen and they are off, and Savannah Simmons is taking off. Oh my. She's not. Uh, <laughs> you like to make up the stagger before the turn. She made it up in the first yeah, there was 30 no, yards. No real strategy here except this fly, man. And Savannah Simmons from Newton. That is impressive as she. Uh, and then Andre goes on to win that, and uh, Erica Lister will finish second in lane four. And of course, I think Wichita State men's basketball going to a better conference was number one, and and uh, I think some of the travel, you know, the cities, New Orleans, Philadelphia, uh, Tulsa, Houston, Memphis, on and on, and and then number three was having UConn maybe come here and play women's basketball. At, at uh, well, if Coke you, Arena. If you want to see the best. A <laughs> brand new you're coach. Gonna, you're going to get it. They just hired the brand new coach, and you know, here you are. You're in the same league as UConn. Here we go with the second heat of the 5A women's 200 meters, and moving up quickly on the inside, that is Demetra Carter. Carter in lane four. Wow, look at her go, and she is being chased by uh, Bryant in lane five. Carter in lane four, Bryant in lane five, and they will leave the rest of the field behind and cruise to a first and second place finish and make their way as honest as mm. possible. Uh, a lot of people were jumping. I like the rule of if, if, if one jumps, everybody gets uh, gets one because that keeps you, uh, the games, holds the gamesmanship down a little bit, especially in the 100 and 200. So, so here we go. We're down to a field of seven now. The first lane now sits empty and we are away cleanly this time. And quickly up on the inside, that is Davis. In the red over Davis. West. And this also Ray alongside Ray her Ray in Ray lane Ray five, Ray that Ray is Ray. Demetra Carter in uh, lane Davis four there, taking the, Jay stretching Davis out the lead. The the Check that, I'm sorry, years. Davis in lane four, yeah. And Carter is going to win this from Kansas City Sumner. Easy. Made that look easy. 24-9. Wichita Southeast. Now in the uh, 400 meter uh, preliminary, she she won her heat, but she did she kind of backed off a little bit, didn't get too aggressive. Getting uh, ready for tomorrow and see what she does here in the uh, 200. Is uh, she is coming quickly. out quickly. Eight good so far. Kansas Lots of height, a good Mike long stride, Mike and just powers Mike away from this wow. field. And she is definitely on a mission. The battle is for the second spot between the two Junction City runners. And in lane five, that is Holman who will finish second. But uh, wow. Past noon here, all time. Talk about the records that are. To Bean have been hanging around for a bit. Joseph Heron of Waverly, 22.09, ran that in 1995. So that's a record that's been around for a while. As we turn the page so far, a headliner so far, Kyler True of Opie broke the state record by 13 seconds in the 3,200 meters. Courtney Hubert of Beloit, four-time gold medals in the javelin. 
And Jordan Spear, a state record in the shot, 1A girls. 200-meter dash in Class 1A. And it looks like a good start by Craig Griebel of South Gray, as well as Scandia Pike Valley's Cole Strickler. And out to the end here, lane seven. Trevor Morgan from Hodgman County gets caught at the end by lane four's Craig Griebel. Griebel from South Gray. And that has held up that long. Everybody's faster back then. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> things have changed, but uh, any, any record that's older than, you know, 1992 would be 25 years if, uh, as a quick measure. Mm -hmm. Because I've noticed that because a lot, a lot of uh, events are celebrating their 25th anniversary with uh, 25 year celebrations that began in 1992. Joel Green of Stockton out to a good start, but inside lane three is Sammy Finnegan of Wakefield and lane four, South Gray's Craig Griebel. And now in lane five, Cole Strickler, Scandia, Pike Valley trying to hold off South Gray's Craig Griebel. And it's going to be Cole Strickler. Strickler to the finish. He's going to win it. In this preliminary heater, was that? Let me check the, check the names. That was Lane Peter. Is in lane six. That's a familiar name. Tim Omack from Wabunsi. And Sedan's, or rather Sedan's, Niall Osborne is in lane eight. One eight is your assignment. Best time belongs to Hayden Friend. He's from Plainville. And off to the start, 150 meters to go in this 200 meter dash in class 2A and asserting themselves wow. strongly in lane four. That's Hayden Friend out of Plainville. He's in front, getting a challenge. Jacob Fairber from Salina Sacred Heart, but it's going to be Hayden Friend. And wow, indeed. Hayden Friend makes a big statement. He'll win it. He's out of Plainville. That was just one of them solid runs from start to finish right there, Mark. He yeah, he's was just too strong. I, talk, I thought this 200-meter dash. Now, we've mentioned. Not sure who's one or who's two right now. We mentioned uh, state champions about a couple hours ago. Mm -hmm. defending state. <laughs> just to reiterate, uh, just because I noticed uh, – in Class 3A, and we're at Class 2A at the moment, but uh, Norton Community and Scott Community tied for the Class 3A title a year ago. Olpe is the defending champ in Class 2A, which is where we are at the moment. And you start here with Webb, Miller, Ryan, Kopp, Staples, Hayes, Garcia, and Lee uh, in this, uh, what is the second heat here. And again, Samuel Kopp, we'll keep an eye on him in lane four. He's taking the lead down the stretch, but he's being challenged on all sides. Josh Hayes, there's Josh Hayes from Colgan. He's fast, and he is going to nip Cop, and also right next to him. Another looks familiar like, uh, name, Rines, Jacob Rines from Maxville. I think Ryan Edge heavily recruited at a high school, but he won four gold medals, and he was going to be a walk-on at K-State, and then Nebraska got real interested. They looked down and said, you know this kid out of Riley County? He just won four gold medals today. Maybe we ought to go down and give him a look. But then Riley County, Nebraska actually uh, kind of gave him a, at least a look. And he went to K-State the rest of his history. We do have a scratch in lane five. He's like Shane Quinlan out of, out of uh, Perry LeCompte, if I'm not mistaken. But look at lane four. Lane four is Caden Davis out of Ellsworth. So the young man out of Ellsworth extends the lead. We saw him earlier. Caden Davis out of Ellsworth. I, I love the straight. He's the guy that kind of swims when he runs, doesn't he? Caden Davis out of Ellsworth. He's the winner. In the Remember one year we had Monty Beisel? Eric uh, Rosel from uh, Liberal and uh, Brandon Clark from Valley Center, of course, is now. Oh, yeah, and they all went yeah. on to play Division uh, One football. Of course, Monty Baisel had a long career in the NFL. But. Man, that is a page out of history. I, I tell you, here's the second heat here in Class 3A. Jenkins, Brown, McCart, Kenzel, Gilliland, Griffin, Corinder, and Dismong. And out to a pretty good start. Lane 5 is Jefferson Gilliland from Lakin. He is in Lane 5, getting a challenge on his inside shoulder. Lane 4 is Emaha Central's Jacob Kolzer. But uh, Lakin's Jefferson Gilliland still in front of uh, Kelzer. Gilliland, Kelzer, Gilliland makes a move. And that might require a photo finish. Have to check that one out again. Gilliland and Kelzer. Gilliland from Lakin and Kelzer from Nima Central. Young man from Nima. From here on out. We'll have a little bit of a pause between the prelims and the 3200 meter run. But as far as the clock is going, it probably will not be a very long delay as we are up and underway here in the Class 4A 200 meters. And look at coming up out of it lane two very quickly. That is Tolbert of Atchison. Tolbert of Atchison moving along quickly. Tolbert of Atchison in lane two. Trying to hang on. Now here comes the rest of the field coming up. That is uh, Piper. Oh, look at uh, lane uh, seven or eight here. Kansas City Piper, Jalen Taylor moving up quickly and a close finish. But it's 
400, I believe. So here we go. Stroll, Schaefer, Cobbins, Green, Hawkins, Kaufman, Johnson, Richter in that order. Stroll with the one-handed set start. Almost like a lineman's start. And quickly coming up on the inside. Hudson on the outside. In lane two, that is Schaefer. And moving up on the outside, Jaden Johnson, Bishop Mies. And then Bueller's Hawkins make it a race of it as well. In this race. Nashon Houston from Kansas City Sumner Academy in lane six. Jacob Wilson in lane seven. He's from Mays, a Mays High Eagle. And from uh, Cape and Mount Carmel in Wichita, Mark Hutton in lane eight. As we are off and running, let's see again. But look for the two Leavenworth runners, Clifford Robinson in lane and four, Anthony Gould in five. And they he come around, Robinson and it is the two uh, pioneers two. from Leavenworth are Robinson coming the down outside. the stretch. Gould on the outside. Robinson and they are Gould, and, and it is, I shoulder. think maybe Clifford Robinson got him. Let's see. But the pioneer over, which you don't really want to do, but it is better than holding them there in the down position for a long period of time. Again, it's Russell, Rodriguez, Remsburg, Saunders, Martinez, Ramos, Fullen, and Sanchez. 22.05, the fastest time in this heat, and that belongs to uh, Keon Saunders. And again, his teammate right next to him in lane five is Corey Martinez. You know, the uh, two Hornets match up against each other. Out well on the outside. Well, here, here comes Remsburg. Remsburg <laughs> out in front. I don't think he has a score to settle. Wow, look at him go. Caden Remsburg. That's an impressive run. Just destroyed the field. At a close fight for seconds in lane one. Davian Vigil of Hutchinson in lane two. Matthew Summerline of Gardner Edgerton in lane three. Hayden Goodpasture of Shawnee Mission Northwest in lane four. Brandon Denman of Shawnee Mission North in lane five. Uh, Say Veon Alcorn of Gardner Edgerton in lane six. Blake Nelson of Blue Valley West in lane seven. And Malachi uh, Starr of Lawrence Free State in lane eight. In lane three, that's As they are away and uh, moving quickly. And on the outside, on the outside in Nelson lane seven, West in the red. that is Nelson, Nelson of Blue outside. Valley West. And in a close finish, it looked like Nelson and Goodpasture hitting the line close together. So well, another thing like we have talked about, the weather has not been good. So a lot of these times that you see, especially the regional times, uh, can be a little bit deceiving because the weather was so poor during the regional weekend that uh, sometimes, as I said, things are not exactly what you say. And Chet, you say that so well, we'll keep an eye on things uh, with Philip Landrum from Wichita South occupying lane two. Expect to see him try to make up that stagger in a hurry. Only five sprinters in Kansas have broken 22 seconds this year. Three of them are in this Very out quickly. And don't see Landrum coming strong. Landrum trying to make up some ground. Now look at him. Here he comes, Landrum. Landrum in three. But Topeka Highs, Barry, and Brinkley Allen. And looks like Brinkley, Brinkley Allen and...